Yeah, it's a hot day. Hi, Sammy. Hey, Russ, how you doing? I'm good. Can you explain to me what's going on here this morning and, you know, how did this come about? Great. So today we're doing a sea and sand cleanup. This is with Rocky Point Divers, Delmar, Delmar Charters. Okay. Uh, Sado actually is on board as well as the Clean Beach Committee and the local Rotary Club here in Puerto Penasco. Yeah. This came about from uh, years of conversations about doing a underwater cleanup with divers. And then we expanded that idea to include on top of the water, so we have some kayaks, uh -huh. stand-up paddleboard and snorkelers and then also on land and so we have the beach cleanup so it's uh it's our first time all of us coming together to this is a big turnout for the first time big turnout it's quite a big turnout it's been great a lot of rotary uh, members from the local club as well as a club from surprise arizona yep. locally we have a, one of the scout troops as well as the dare uh, it's the youth patrol. Okay. Uh, so it's, uh, That's who all those kids are. So a lot of the kids there, um, a lot of the kids here, a lot of the kids there are the scouts. Uh, we have our exchange students. We have about 13 scuba divers. Wow. And then they're about, uh, I think it's about eight kayaks that are out. And so they're going kind of in between the rocks. We're by the home port cool. for this first time because uh, for the scuba divers in, uh, in particular, we've seen uh, pieces of plastic or, for example, lead or, or um, things that different people use as weights for fishing. And so we see that a lot on the, on the ground um, down in, in the home port in between the rocks. Yeah. So that's kind of where the idea started, but then expanding it here, and we hope to do this again in the future, also with scuba divers and such. The next one coming up is actually the International Coastal Cleanup okay. that Sado and the Clean Beach Committee are organizing. It's October 27th, okay. and so we'll be there as our club to support, and I'm not sure if they're including scuba divers and such in that one, because that one is usually on the beaches, but that one's on beaches all over Pinyas. Okay. In so this particular it, it, case, we started here because we really didn't know what it was gonna how it was gonna turn out yeah well I only it turned out great I only picked up trash for like 45 minutes and it was two bags full and it was just amazing and, and what was really interesting for us here is this is technically not not a public access area right now and right. so there hasn't been as much traffic as far as just it's people but pretty at the amazing. same time uh, and so we thought, well, maybe there's not going to be as much trash to pick up. But because the tide's coming in, and you could see precisely right along the tide line when we got here, it was a whole a whole recycling bin. <laughs> for it was us to pick for up. sure, for sure. And what's been really interesting here on this beach in particular is we found a lot of plastic tops. Yep. Um, on other beaches, for example, some of the main things that are picked up are small pieces of glass and uh, cigarette butts. Right. And on this beach, there have been a lot of plastic tops. The little for water bottles and such, yep. as well as general trash. But there have been some cool discoveries. Yeah, as I know. As well as we uh, found a... just some really cool treasures, yep. including uh, these seahorse yes. skeletons. And Pretty interesting. So, and we couldn't have asked for a better day. Perfect. Weather-wise, for the scuba divers, for, for everyone, it's an amazing, amazing day. Well, thanks for putting this together. It's a lot of coordination. I notice, I see a lot of faces here I know and, from the city. And, and we really need to thank uh, Jose Flores from Blue Bar uh -huh. at Rocky Point Divers. And cool. And Oscar Preciado from Del Mar Charters. Because really, this began over a conversation uh, a few years ago. Uh, among scuba divers, and they're the ones who really, really got this going. That's awesome. So they just brought us all on board. <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> literally. on board, literally. Almost literally. <laughs> Perfect. All, all right, right, thanks, so, Sam. Tell me what your name is. My name is Trina. Trina? And how old are you? I'm um, almost 12 years old. Almost 12. And this is? I'm Joanne Dillon Damaris, 6 year old. Okay, so 6 and 12. And you both live in Mexico? Yes. Yeah. Full time? Like all the time? Mm -hmm. Really? Do you like it? Really? And you're out here today to do what? You tell me. Pick up trash on the beach. To pick up trash on the beach. That's awesome. It's a beautiful day. It's kind of hot. Yep. What are you going to do the rest of the day when you go home? I'm probably going to go to the beach and go swimming. Awesome. The water's still beautiful, isn't it? It is. All right, girls. Thank you very much for your video. Do you have anything to say, Gwen? Yeah, what? Well, it's not very good to litter, but it's as long as there's boats out there to pick up their trash, it's okay. Okay. So we need to work harder to make the earth cleaner, huh? Yeah, we can do it. This is proof today. All these people came out and give their time and pick up trash for a long time, and that's good. And now a lot of trash got picked up, too. Okay. Say bye to everybody. Wow, Paloma, that's a lot of trash. That's a lot of trash, 
what is that? Only an hour, hour and a half, or something like that? Wow, amazing.